When you've been lying about something for so long, it becomes second nature. You think you're gonna get the truth in a town like this? When you've been lying about something for so long, it becomes second nature. Do you see the beauty of it? The inevitability? You rise only to fall. You, Avengers, you are my meteor, my swift and terrible sword, and the earth will crack with the weight of your failure. Purge me from your computers, turn my own flesh against me. It means nothing. When the dust settles, the only thing living in this world will be metal. You remember me? How you doing tonight? Doing well, officer. Can I see your driver's license, registration, and insurance, please? Of course. My license is right here, my wallet. That's all right, son. You remember the night in July? Hey, get up! Hey, 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 hey! Wait, wait, wait! Put the phone down! It's Put that phone on! It's, it's a cell phone! It's a cell phone! It's just a cell I'm phone! Right. You knew he was unarmed. I was in the car and put your hands in the air. Officer, please, he's just a kid. You pointed your gun at him. Okay, get out of the car, son. Easy. He pulled the trigger. Put the phone away. Put the phone away. Put the phone away. The grand jury determined that no probable cause exists to file any charges against Officer Randall. This is my son. This is my little boy. You took that from me. The world took that from me. Today we make that right. Hear me when I say this, because I'm only going to say it once. Don't stop filming. Why are we the only people in this country that expected to do things without violence? I didn't mean to kill your son! Do what you did. I did what I was trying to do! I just want justice. That's all I want. This is your jury. The deciders of your fate. Today, you will be tried for the murder of my son. Now, all you black folks, I suggest you get away from all these white folks. Not you, Steve. You're right where you belong. Continue reading now, it says, And Israel sojourned in Satin, and the people profaned itself by going or whoring after the scum of the earth, albinos, anybody with straight hair women, whose origin is from Sodom and Gomorrah, via India, which they named after their father Satan. And they called them to the sacrifices of their gods. All right? Because Satan is worshipped in many different names in Hindu. And it says, and the people ate of their sacrifices, spirit cooking, which we have shown you that Marina Abramovich and Jay-Z, all right, in the video called Picasso, and that Marina Abramovich is the one who does spirit cooking in Hollywood. 
eating sacrifices to Satan, cooking food which is reserved for Satan and selling it or making other people eat, which you have seen or heard about. Get on your internet. You will see that. Type out Marina Abramovich and see how many Hollywood dinners. This evil scum of the earth albino, anybody with straight hair, woman whose origin is from Sodom and Gomorrah via India has made every one of Hollywood to get involved in, and which in all people in Hollywood are all Satanists. It goes on to say, and worshipped their idols. If YouTube did allow the video play, you would have seen that in the worship of Satan, in Hindu, in India, that the women shave their hair. And it's from the shaving of hair, which is in the worship of Satan, right? that the whole entire hair industry of wigs which stupid black people wear and they're not interested in knowing how to grow their hair because a black woman's hair grows more than an albino and we have that information in the book and they think that we are just trying to sell them something instead of letting them know the truth because we paid money to print the book for you to get that information So the shaving of hair is in the worship of Satan and we are going to show you what it means. And now let's switch over to another portion of the Bible and show you that the Creator made a commandment to the remnant. You shall not shave your hair. Because if you notice in the Hindu temples, they shave their hair and say it is good luck. And once a woman shaves her hair, what does it mean? Remember, the scripture says that the sex that you are, that you shall fully represent it as you are. That means there should be no cross-dressing. So when a woman shaves her hair and goes bald, what does that mean? She's trying to put on a look that is known on a man. And that is an abomination. It's a form of homosexuality, which a lot of people engage in without knowing because Christianity, which was originated from Hinduism, doesn't want you to know that. Let's continue now. And we're reading from Leviticus chapter number 19. And we are reading from verse number 27. It says, you shall not make a round cutting of the hair of your head, nor disfigure your beard. What does that mean? You shall not shave your hair in the ritual in which the Moabites, the scum of the earth, albinos, anybody with straight hair, whose origin is from Sodom and Gomorrah, and named their country India after Satan in their ethnicity. And from then, they were immigrated into the whole entire world and have lied to you that their origins are from anywhere else but India. But the black people at the time called them what? Native Indian. To show you that they are native to India. But today, that history is lost because all black people in order to get power have been soaked into the fact that they have to worship and go after albinos anybody with straight hair because why whiteness is evil to have the power of satan in this world you have to go to the albinos anybody with straight hair who are his children so reading right here the creator gave a commandment that none should shave their hair in the worship of Satan. And let's show you with pictures now so we can continue on. Here is a picture of the worship of Satan on how hair shaving was done. So in Hindu, all right, in India, in the practice of Hinduism, which is Christianity, you will notice that the monks, if there is such a thing, in Buddhist temples do what? Shave their hair. You will also notice that the Roman Catholic monks do what? Shave their hair as a monk. They shave it partially and allow a little strand to grow. This was in the worship of Satan. So that is why the creator made that commandment. 
So as you can see right here, this man's hair is partially shaved. He's partially shaved his head and partially shaved the beard. So this was the commandment that the creator said in Leviticus chapter number 19, which we just read, that you shall not partially shave your head or your beard in the worship of Satan. So let's continue now, because in scripture, the Moabites and Ammonites called Satan Chemosh. Did you hear that word? It's spelled C-H-E-M-O-S-H. Because Chemosh is the fabricated name of India in the Hebrew language, the Ammonites or the Moabites, the children of Lot, of whom the albinos, anybody with straight hair, called Satan or rewrote the scriptures and called Satan Kemosh in the many names of Satan. And so let's show you that Kemosh ritual, which includes the shaving of hair, is what the Indians do the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair which now directly shows you that the albinos anybody with straight hair are children of satan so if you've watched legends of roll call up to this point we are at the point of showing you with definite proof that the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair whose origin starts in Sodom and Gomorrah because they had real knowledge of Satan and Satan was their father. And because of the knowledge that they had of Satan, because Satan was an angel and a black angel for that matter, that is how Sodom and Gomorrah could identify by knowledge of the two angels that came to the house of Lot to tell Lot that Sodom and Gomorrah was going to be destroyed. And according to scriptures, as we were told, the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, both young, old children, so you can now understand the fact that there is no such thing as the age of accountability for any children. For whatsoever is born of evil is evil. A baby scorpion is the same as the father scorpion. There is no change because that's what the scripture said that the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, who are today's albinos, anybody with straight hair, came to the house of Lot, which was the only black man living in that neighborhood of Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding cities, and asked that Lot should bring out the two angels, all right, that were with him because they knew those were two angels, that they should have sex with them because Sodom and Gomorrah was produced by Satan. Satan's name is India. In the ancient language of the people of India, called today to be albinos, anybody with straight hair, the scum of the earth. Now, this story of Satan and how Satan went about sleeping with the scum of the earth, albinos, anybody with straight hair, females which today black people, stupid black people, have gone and made wives of them and think that they are special, not knowing that they are marrying the cost of the earth, stinky, dirty, filthy females, albinos, anybody with straight hair women. This is what Satan did in Sodom and Gomorrah with these women. So everybody who is a woman, who's an albino, anybody with straight hair. This is their origin story. And that is how the people of Sodom and Gomorrah knew that there were two black angels in the house of Lot because they knew that Satan was an angel, black also, which we're going to reveal his true form in the shape of our world. So the people of Sodom and Gomorrah at this point in time in history, before the Creator destroyed them, had all become albino, anybody with straight hair. They had lost all color of goodness. 
and therefore that is how they recognized that there were two black angels gone to the house of Lot which was the only black man living among them so they all came forth all the men and the women and said bring us these two angels that we should what that we should have sex with them because this was the practice of the people of Sodom and Gomorrah when they were sleeping with Satan and as we have said that the name of Satan is India in the ancient language of Sodom and Gomorrah which is today preserved as the Hindu languages is been called through so many other names today that people will not recognize one of those names is Sanskrit one of those names is Vedic so if you hear those names and you read in history it's talking about India the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair which have stolen human history the very children of Satan so this name of Satan is preserved in a very great epic story which we are going to let you hear on the shape of our world you probably have heard it but you have never understood it before and now you're going to understand it on the shape of a world what this great epic tale and story is all about in how the name of Satan got to be preserved as India all right and today they are the only people in the world who have named their country after Satan other ethnicities in the world including the Edomites of Scripture because let me make you understand something it's very very easy I'm just gonna give you some identifying markers at this point in time to know who is Edom all right for those who like doing research they can go and do research now if you read in the history of Genesis Isaac when he had Esau who is also known as Edom through his wife Rebecca they always pleaded with Edom please do not marry the Moabites all right do not marry the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair females of the land go back into Africa or go to your lineage all right who happen to be Orientals and marry any one of them do not marry the Moabites but this Esau also known as Edom refused so Esau and Edom as a black man went up and married so many Moabite women and any other women who did not know the name of the Creator so the generation of Edom as an ethnicity grew up not knowing the name of the Creator and were worshipping Satan and this is why the Creator hated Esau because Esau was a seed of Satan that means he was of the lineage of Satan even though he was born of Isaac because he went after what the children of Satan to marry and procreate with so because of this the ethnicity of Esau or Edom is very very distinct as a black human race that when you see one you will know that this is not a regular way that black people look and this generation of Esau or Edom grew up to be worshippers of Satan in every way shape or form they were into astrology they were into sorcery and most of the nation became a city of sorcerers of witches and wizards and built a great civilization worshipping their sorcery that is why in today's generation in Edom in Esau almost everybody is a sorcerer and carries that lineage till today this is the obvious truth that you're going to find out when we get on the shape of our world now let me tell you a mystery which people do not know and we're going to reveal it now because the Moabites change scripture the book of Job that people read is not about the Creator everything that you read in the book of Job is about Satan why because Job worshipped Satan they just switched the words up in there 
not for you to understand that Job worshipped Satan and Job was from who Job was a king of Edom. This is scriptural and this is truth. But so when you read the book of Job, the Moabites purposely, because that whole book of Job and everything that you read there is about the worship of Satan down to Job's friends. But when we get to the shape of a world, we will reveal that. But let's come back now to the story, okay? And show you that the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, both young and old, it doesn't matter if they were babies. So that means, for example, right now, you have maybe young Moabite children. They all went to Lot's house, the only black man, because they knew that two black angels had come into the city because if a city is all albino, anybody with straight hair, it's pretty easy to find the black man that's living among you. So that is how they went and told Lot, bring out those two angels that we may what? Commit homosexuality and everything that they needed to do as Satan had been doing to their women when he was in the earth and created Sodom and Gomorrah at the time that the Tower of Babel was being built. This is a story that will continue on shape of a world, but for now, let's continue on and show you that it was both young and old children so that you remember as we continue into showing you beyond a shadow of a doubt that the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair who are known as Moab in the Bible and Ammon the children of Lot's daughters in which the daughters of Lot used witchcraft and sorcery on him to make him to procreate to make him to have sex with them and have an erection in that state of mind and have an ejaculation inside their vagina so the seed so that the lineage of Satan in the world would not die. And from there, they have done what? They have corrupted the whole earth and have brought about its end as it has already begun. Let's go. So we're reading from Genesis chapter number 19 and we're reading from verse number four. When two angels were sent by the creator to deliver Lot because he was a righteous man and Lot because he loved his scum of the earth albino anybody with straight hair woman and the two daughters that the woman gave birth to also decided to take his two daughters along with him and his wife died in the process because she herself could not believe that Sodom and Gomorrah the very lineage of Satan which they come from was getting destroyed now in the story of Genesis you will be told that Lot's wife turned into a pillar of salt that is bullshit there is no way you can look at a fire because it says that Sodom and Gomorrah was burning like brimstone and we've showed you a clip before of the real Sodom and Gomorrah on how brimstone which looks like lava burns right there is no way in that particular video if you had paid attention by looking at the surroundings that you saw any pillar of salt fire consumes it does not turn to salt but the Moabites the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair imputed that into the Bible why would they think and make you believe that if someone burns up that they turn into salt because a lot of the scriptures that is written is written in which language occultic language what does salt do for your body salt is good right so in essence they were trying to say that Sodom and Gomorrah was still good even in its destruction if it was changed to salt because we all need salt to survive so what were they trying to say that Moabites the scum of the earth is the salt did you hear that that is the reason why they wrote that in Genesis and then when they fabricated the New Testament they said that the Creator said ye are the salt of the earth talking about whom 
what reference do you think that is making to? So this is how scriptures have been twisted. But as long as you do not have a high priest, you will not know what each sentence means, what each word means, because you can only hear the truth from the mouth of a high priest. And I am not one. I am just passing information. And I know a lot of people are going to write and say that they want to speak to the high priest. <laughs> I'm just telling you information. I'm not one. And I'm not going to divulge who they are. All right. So let's continue reading now because we want you to see it categorically. That there is no such thing as an age of accountability in which the scum of the earth are by knows anybody with straight hair whose origin is from Sodom and Gomorrah and named their country after Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed in the name of their father Satan, whose name is India, in the local dialect of Hindu. Everything about them they named after Satan. So we want you to see that there is no such thing so that you will not be tricked into believing the story of the so-called rapture and every other thing that they write about in judgment and say that kids are innocent until when they reach a certain age. There is no such thing. You are born evil or you are born good. Evil parents give birth to evil children. This is why the children of Sodom and Gomorrah, the children of the albinos, anybody with straight hair, are born as homosexuals this is where they teach you that people are born as homosexuals do you understand the story now it's only the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair who are born of homosexuals why because their parents were homosexuals trying to sleep with an angel a male because all angels are males do you understand now why they teach you every single day and say that some people are born homosexuals but you do not understand it because they teach you in esoteric language are children born homosexuals yes who are they anybody whose father was a homosexual the children carry the lineage of homosexuality that is what it means and the people who were sodomites who made it their nature to be homosexual? And if they had a wife or a woman, they make the woman to inbreed by sleeping with them and sleeping with their relatives. Are the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair? Which practice still goes on today? That is why they all come out with straight hair and pale skin because they were all inbreeding. Does that make sense now so you understand when they say that some people are born homosexuals because take a look the greatest amount of homosexuals in the world are from albinos anybody with straight hair all of them look effeminate both male and female they do not look like they have an outer of masculinity even in the males they all look effeminate they look like women why because their origin comes from homosexuality and homosexuality means a feminine, means feminism. That is what it means. You have turned yourself from being a man into a woman. And they have taught stupid black people who have followed after and have gotten corrupt. Such that now the whole world is ready to burn. Because the majority of the population is now corrupt from falling after albinos anybody with straight hair the scum of the earth and this is what black people have done to themselves all right so let's read so you see it says here in genesis chapter 19 verse 4 but before they went to sleep referring to lot and the two angels that were with him and his wife and his two kids right the men of the city, the Sodomites, the scum of the earth, albinos, anybody with straight hair whose origin is from Sodom and Gomorrah and later named their country, India, after Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. When the two survivors of Sodom and Gomorrah in Lot's children decided to continue their lineage by inbreeding with their dad so that a demon could take over and be born through that process 
this is what inbreeding does because why every time you break natural order what do you have the presence of demons which is the power of satan do you understand that now let's continue reading it says but before they went to sleep the men of the city the sodomites all right when he says the men of the city here and says the sodomites it does not just mean that only the men came to this house it means everybody who was a homosexual both male and female because the females were also homosexuals lesbians you see them around every day now let's continue reading it says come past the house both young and old all the people together so it does not just look like tricks of the s trade wrote it now the question we now have to ask is this if the moabites the scum of the earth albinos the people of india whose origin is from sodom and gomorrah had the time to change scripture why did they not change this portion and hide themselves it is because it is their legacy they want you to know about them without knowing about them it's a legacy it's the tradition and culture for you to see and know that this is them this is what they do they are proud of it so that's why they did not write this portion out of scripture or change it they left it as is and he goes on to say here as we have shown you that it was all the people together both young and old what does young mean young means as soon as the child can walk on its own so evil gives birth to evil there is no such thing as reaching the age of accountability there is no such thing as an innocent child or innocent baby if you as a parent are evil and give birth to a child that child is evil if you as the scum of the earth albino anybody with straight hair give birth to a child that child is evil because your origin is from sodom and gomorrah and everything bears everything produces according to its kind and let's finish reading this so we can continue on and he says but before they went to sleep the men of the city the sodomites come past the house both you and all, all the people together and they called out lot and said to him where are the angels that went into thee this night bring them out to us that we may abuse them homosexually you see that everybody both young and old the women together and the men wanted to sleep with an angel because this was their custom and practice when satan was in the earth and came in virtually into everybody in the book of genesis and they saw him but now he is hiding and some people go to see him and we know where they are and where they go to see satan and all will be revealed on the shape of our world so let's read this particular portion because we still want to arrive at that order so you can see how wicked and evil albinos anybody with straight hair the scum of the earth really are because we are trying to show you in every single way black people know this that is why for example if you notice when black people see any black man with an albino anybody with straight hair scum of the earth female they are naturally angry why because they know that you should not be sleeping with the enemy they know this but in the opposite manner when albinos anybody with straight hair see their own with any black man or black woman they don't see it as it should not happen because in their minds consciously they know that they are dominating over that is what they think he's just dominating over that black man or black woman and they also know that they'll be getting some carbon for their next generation it's in its knowledge 
Do they like the present? No. They see you as maybe food or something like that. This is the obvious truth. Albinos, anybody with straight hair are incapable of loving black people because why? They killed and removed almost all the black people that were in Asia and in India. In Asia. Go figure. How many black people do you see? There's very few of them. The only few that you find living in India are Africans known as the city. And why have they left them alone? Because they were royalty. They were the ones who brought them civilization. So they said, okay, you don't want to be a part of us, but you have to seclude yourself. You don't want to become albino. Anybody with straight hair like us, you have to seclude yourself. So the only thing that saved those Africans there was because they were royalty. They had a little respect for them. But today they treat them like dung, as we showed you earlier in the video. But continue reading here. We want to show you how the creator and how wicked these people were because as we explained earlier when the remnant came out of Egypt they had two people two ethnicities who withstood them they would not let the remnant drink from their rivers or take any water or give them food and the first ethnicity was the Edomites the children of Esau which were known as also the Amalekites in scripture. They are part of the children of Esau or Edom. Okay? So, the other ethnicity who wanted to curse, be a stumbling block, and wipe out the remnant was the scum of the earth albinos, anybody with straight hair, whose origin is from Sodom and Gomorrah. So because of this action, the Creator caused all of them. And meanwhile, the whole earth, everybody is caused except they recognize the name of the Creator and do His commandments and know who the remnant is. That is where we are living now in history. There is no such thing as a middle ground. It's either you know or you don't know. If you don't know, you're going to the lake of fire. If you know, then you. Are doing the commandments of the creator and you have not committed any abominations that lead to death to the lake of fire which include inbreeding which include homosexuality which include rape which include bestiality which include murder so reading now in deuteronomy chapter number 23 and we're reading from verse number three and we're going to put the words right so you see it says the ammonite and moabite which means the children of lot from sodom and gomorrah whose origin is from sodom and gomorrah who now called their country later on after their father satan in the name india who are today's albinos anybody with straight hair the filthiest dirtiest smelliest people of the world whom have been elevated and through the Ottoman Empire have gone into all the world and made us to believe that they are native to any country outside of India. It says, shall not enter into the assembly of the Lord. They shall not be a part of the remnant. They shall not come into the kingdom of the creator when this world is done even until the 10th generation they shall not enter into the assembly of the lord they shall not be part of the remnant even forever did you read that did you hear that now let's continue reading now it says because they met you not with food and water by the way they did not allow the remnants to drink of their streams and rivers and water. They wanted them to thirst and die. Like albinos, anybody with straight hair today have done to black people all over the world. They want you to die in hunger and poverty. They have taken all the jobs. They refuse to give you jobs, but they keep lying to you that they are not racist by making you believe that racism is calling someone a nigger. Or that racism is when a police shoots 
a black man in the streets which they display on the tv sets for you to watch so you do not see that they refuse to hire you in all the organizations that black people built in the united states of america when you go in it's filled with albinos and none of them even the ones who are married to black people have ever gone up to their employer have ever gone up to the house of congress have ever gone up to the presidency and says let's make a law that in every establishment in this country which they came in in the 1850s that they should hire equal number of black people 50% black people and 50% albinos, anybody with straight hair, so that black people will not die of poverty, of having no money to take care of themselves. Rather, they create an agenda to portray black people as drug dealers, their women as hoes and prostitutes, which they cost. Do you think every black man loves selling drugs? Is because the system has pushed them to a wall that they have no choice do you think that every black woman likes to be a whore and a prostitute it's because of albinos anybody with straight hair who have not changed the same thing that they did to the remnant which they still continue today which are the people suffering the most because of this they are still doing it today they've refused them food and water to even sell what does it mean to refuse let me explain that so you understand they refuse to sell food they refuse to sell water to the remnant when they came out of egypt they begged with money they would not give it to them because they wanted them to die of thirst and hunger as they want black people today to die by not giving them jobs by taking all the jobs away even though nobody's supposed to have a job because the creator said that we should all plant and grow our own food but they took all the land the albinos anybody with straight hair all land is property of the state you can't even till in the soil without a permit that is what the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair who have continually been enemies against black people right from creation as you're reading right here in the book of deuteronomy let's continue reading it says because they met you not with food and water by the way when you went out of egypt and because they hired against the balaam the son of beer of mesopotamia a witch a sorcerer to cast a spell of mind control on the remnant as a mind control today has been cast on the remnant by the evil wicked albinos anybody with straight hair who now claim that they own the middle east israel and now go by the name of ashkenazi jews and the remnants cannot even see because someone has stolen the identity of who they are this is the very same thing that they did in deuteronomy when the remnant came out of Egypt. They hired a sorcerer to curse them, to put a spell on them. Let's continue reading. It says, But the Lord thy God would not hearken to Balaam, and the Lord thy God changed the causes. He did not allow the mind control to work into blessings because the Lord thy God loves thee it says you shall not speak peaceably or profitably to them all the days forever did you hear that no remnant was supposed to breed with the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair whose origin is from sodom and gomorrah who later named their country india in the name of satan which they know in their language but today the remnant have done so some of them they have married and bred with evil and given their strength for evil to continue to succeed because what whiteness cannot succeed without attaching itself to blackness is the reason why you have white blood cells in your body which is demonic it cannot survive on its own 
every sickness cannot survive without a host. It dies because it has no energy. It has no ability to have power on its own. Albinos, anybody with straight hair, cannot survive except they attach themselves to a black person. On their own, they will die in two generations because what for you to live in this world we came out of blackness as you will see that when you turn the lights off and then there is no light around you everything is black because that is what we came from and for you to survive you have to be black and we already told you that on roll call and let's continue now to show you the real history that this people albinos anybody with straight hair have hid from you so that you would not identify that it's them so so far if you've stayed on legends of roll call up to this part you will understand that uh, the people of moab the people of sodom and gomorrah the albinos anybody with straight hair scum of the earth whose origin is from sodom and gomorrah and known as moab in the bible and known to worship in the pagan religions of Hindu as we showed you earlier that they have a custom of shaving hair and we showed you what the shaving of hair looked like in particular by half shaving the head or shaving the head all as is done in many of the Hindu temples from where all the hair and wigs or human hair that people use today especially black people is gotten from but also in the scriptures as well they are known they changed the name of satan which is india in their native language when the scriptures were rewritten by them into Kemosh. because you have to understand this all the names in scripture of everybody was changed by the romans when they translated scripture into the old testament okay the romans produced the old testament and introduce the concept of Christos. So I want you to pay attention to the words now. So when Christianity was brought into the world by Constantine, the name of the religion was called Christos. Christos, okay? Christos is formed from two Greek words, which is chi and ro. There was no such name as Jesus, okay? Pay attention now. There was no such name as Jesus because if you are a student of Christianity, you will find out that Constantine had a vision. And in that vision, which was fake, he said that he was told from heaven, in this sign shall you conquer. And that sign was Chi and Ro, which was formed as a cross. It's from Chi and Ro that you have the word Christ. There was no such name as Jesus because why? The scriptures when the Romans translated it and changed the names was written in Latin. Pay attention. It was written in Latin. The scriptures were read in Latin as it is still read today in most Catholic churches around the world. Another language in which the scriptures was read was Greek. You will always hear in those reading as they say what Christos Sanctum by the Catholic priest. There was no such name as Jesus. That is why the religion is called what? Christianity. It is not called Jesuity. It is called Christianity because the name that they worshipped their God. They called him Christ. And we'll get into the full meaning of Christ in the shape of a world. But when the Ottoman Empire came of the scum of the earth albinos, anybody with straight hair, they introduced the name Jesus. And they introduced the Trinity. The Trinity was already worshipped in all the world but the concept of father son and holy spirit in christianity was made 
public knowledge by the Ottoman Empire. Did you hear that? When the Ottoman Empire came in, the scum of the earth, albinos, anybody with straight hair, whose origin is from Sodom and Gomorrah, who named their country after Satan, they took the Roman Trinity and changed it into now the opposite. It was now two males and one female, father, son, and woman. So now because they brought about the son, they had to call him what? Son of Zeus, which in Greek is Jesus, because Yoda means son. It's from son of Zeus that you now have Jesus. This is what the Ottoman Empire did because they did not want to break the tradition of what the Romans had already set up. They just wanted to refine it for their own selves. Okay? Now, why would they need to produce a son of Zeus is the question. That will be answered on the shape of a world. Continuing on right now, we just want to show you that the Moabites, all right, change the name of Satan which is India in their language when they rewrote the scriptures into Kemosh okay pay attention they changed the name of India into Kemosh and you will find out later because that's the reason why we started the video by showing you Hindu religions of what shaving hair which you find in scripture which the creator told the remnants never to shave their hair that way because if they did it was in the worship of satan so that is the first character that you have to pay attention to because that is how you're going to see and know that the albinos anybody with straight hair in scripture who are known as moab continue the same practice which you see in scripture of shaving of hair which was in the worship of satan which is practiced in hinduism in every form whether in buddhism or any of the hindu religions so reading here it says here in first kings chapter number 11 and we're reading from the geneva bible and we're reading from verse 6 it says so solomon wrought wickedness in the sight of the lord but continued not to follow the lord as did david his father solomon was a very wicked king king solomon is in hell that is why freemasons have everything to do with solomon's temple because they knew that solomon was wicked continuing he says then did solomon build a high place for kemosh the abomination of Moab in the mountain that is over against Jerusalem and unto Molech the abomination of the children of Ammon. Now if you go to India there is such a thing as called the Brahman bull. The Brahman bull is Moloch. Have you ever heard of that? There is this particular bull worship. All right? So Moloch, as you would know, if anybody's interested in the occultic histories, you will always know that Moloch has the head of a cow with two horns. Because the Moabites, the scum of the earth, albinos, anybody with straight hair, made an image of a bull which they worshipped. This is the same bull that the remnant made an image of when they came out of egypt in the wilderness when they said moses is no longer seen and they told aaron make us a god that we should worship and they made this image of moloch a calf okay and we'll get into that later in the shape of a world so you guys understand the symbology of all what this means but for now i want you to pay attention to the fact that it says here that solomon built a high place for kemosh kemosh is the name of satan which is known as india the abomination of Moab and you know that the Moabites in scripture are the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair who came into the world and all around the world during the Ottoman Empire whose origin is from Sodom and Gomorrah and they named their country what India which is the name of Satan which they changed to Kemosh in scripture let's continue now 
So when you read through scriptures, you always see Moab attached to Chemosh. And remember we said that the name Chemosh was changed by the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair so we would not be able to identify them boldly by the name india which is the name of satan which they named themselves and their country after okay so moab is always attached to chemosh because the moab and the ammonites who are today's scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair who are known as moab and ammon in the bible and collectively as moab worship satan whose name is india but the name of satan india was changed to chemosh so it says here and moab shall be ashamed of chemosh and this is reading from jeremiah chapter number 48 in verse 13. so moab is always attached to chemosh and we also gave you a clue about the fact that in the worship of chemosh there was shaving of hair and let's show you that in the worship of satan in the worship of india all right which is satan it includes the shaving of hair in respect to satan let's continue now so we're reading now from the book of second samuel since you now understand that the shaving of hair which the creator told the remnant never to do by shaving their hair in a half portion because it's in respect and worship of Satan. And shaving of hair is a part of the Hindu culture today. Let's pull some pictures before we continue. So in every facet of Hinduism, you will always see the shaving of hair. So for example, in the Hindu temples, the women go shave their hair and it's that hair that's sold back to you if you're a black woman and you love wigs and then you put it on your hair something that was in sacrifice to satan called india now today the name of satan as india has been changed into so many names by the different dialects of hindu such that people do not recognize that the name india is the core name of satan so i want you to see how deviant albinos anybody with straight hair are. so but looking at this picture you will always notice that the shaving of hair is constant with hindu religions so this is what the creator warned about that you shall not shave your hair because you will notice that in most hindu religions they shave the hair or give a small portion or leave a small portion of it on the head so this is what you see in this picture this man's head is half shaved and his beard is half shaved which we're going to read now in scriptures for you to see exactly what happened because this is the same thing that happened in scripture identifying letting you know that the moabites the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair are the same people as india because this is a practice that goes on in hindu religion identifying them as the same people of scripture let's continue reading now so the shaving of hair is a custom of hinduism in the worship of satan who was called india in the language of hinduism in the language of the ottoman empire in the language of the scum of the earth albinos the dirtiest stinkiest smelliest people of the world whose origin is from sodom and gomorrah who are identified as moab in the bible and ammon and all together collectively as moab being the children of lot's daughters whom were procreated by demonic inbreeding upon Lot to bring forth and continue the lineage of Sodom and Gomorrah in the earth. So the culture of hair shaving, which is a practice of Hinduism, is the practice that was given to the worship of Satan. And that is why the Creator told the remnant you shall not round the corners of your beard as you're looking on the right which was a culture of most of the egyptian pharaohs who hated the creator and rather worshiped satan who used to shave the corners of the beard so if you go through a lot of egyptian statues you will always notice that the beard is rounded let's pull up one picture right here 
So this is an image of the pharaohs of Egypt for those who did not keep the commandments or practice the commandments of the creator you will notice this on a lot of egyptian statues and there is a history of the kings of pharaoh that goes back and ties back to the remnant and uh we'll get into that story fully when we get on shape of our world but for now because this video is not for everyone it's for you to identify and know the people who are the actual children of satan which also includes black people who support albinos anybody with straight hair supremacies and the character and nature of those who are going to hell because the scriptures has been hidden from us for so long because there's been no high priest for a long time and now there is a couple of them and like i said i am not one i'm just passing information so in the scriptures when you read the creator tells the remnants not to shave their hair in any way and manner around the corners of their beard which was in the worship of satan so if you go into india right now you will notice that a lot of the priests and monks if you watch a lot of like uh, kung fu movies you're going to find this out they always keep this single beard right in the middle and right all the corners around about it they have no beard just one long one like this which you see in the middle of the chin below the chin which a lot of people who are in the worship of uh, religions of uh, buddhism and the hindu religions and christianity and the monks and whatsoever he will find this because this was in the worship of satan and so the creator told the remnant not to ever shave their hair this way once they did that then they become defiled so in the story of samson you've probably read uh that it said that samson's uh hair should not be cut that was written in by the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair long hair on a man effeminizes the man so the creator of whom had made a commandment saying that nobody should appear or dress themselves in a way and manner that is not the gender that they were born with could not have made such a law or commandment that samson should grow his hair that was never there so the reason why samson lost his power was because samson was a high priest and i want you to pay attention to this the high priests are the only people whom the creator speaks with so if you read that anybody was spoken to in scripture by either an angel or the creator himself it means that person was a high priest if you read and it says like maybe the kings for example if you read in scripture it says that the creator spoke to solomon the creator never spoke to solomon the creator never spoke to david you have to understand this david was not a high priest so the creator does not speak to anybody that is not a high priest so this was written in by the romans first to make us trust in kings and leaders as a representation of the creator instead of the levitical priesthood the high priest themselves so that's why all this was written in to make us believe that the creator spoke with david one-on-one -on -one or spoke with solomon or any other person who wasn't a high priest so i want you to understand that now david was no high priest so anything that says that david made a prophecy or that there was such a thing as the creator saying to david that from david that david would have a son that would reign over the remnant forever and that the creator came as a king of the lineage of judah or the tribe of judah is all false it never happened the creator was a chief high priest born of the high priest lineage which was given to a very specific lineage in the high priest lineages that people do not know about and we're not going to share on this particular video for those who like doing that research carry on so the creator made a commandment so the reason why samson lost all his strength was because when the philistines caught up with him they knew the commandments that the remnant were not supposed to shave their hair in the worship of satan or around their beards when samson made delilah to understand this because also the high priest was not supposed to drink any wine if you see in scriptures and they say that the high priest drinks wine 
or that he should not drink any strong drink, it was all imputed. The high priest was only supposed to drink what they call hard liquor in today's language. So when Samson revealed to Delilah that under the commandments of the high priest in that time, before the creator came as the chief high priest later on, and when the second temple in Jerusalem was destroyed, Samson as a high priest told Delilah, my commandments as the remnant says, I should not round the corners of my beard or shave my hair, shave it in such a way as we have shown you in how Hindus shave their hair partially or shave it all and give to Satan, which is known as India, which they changed the name to Kemosh in the Bible. So Samson told this to Delilah and then said, also in my commandment as a high priest, I am not to drink any wine. I am only to drink hard liquor. So when Delilah heard this, what did she do? She mixed a drink and gave to Samson. The drink was wine, but in the mixture, it tasted like alcohol, like hard liquor. So Samson drank that wine, which he thought was hard liquor, which was poisoned, and he slept off. And when he slept off, Delilah took a razor and shaved the hair of Samson this way, rounded the corner of his beard, as you see in this picture right here, and then shaved his head this way, as you see in this picture, half and half. And Samson became defiled. So when Samson stood up from this sleep in which Delilah had called upon him the Philistines, Samson had no longer the strength that he was supposed to have as a high priest. Why? Because he had become defiled. He had broken the priesthood, the high priest commandment that no remnant, including the high priest, should shave themselves in this way and manner of rounding the beard or shaving the hair partially in the worship of Satan and that Samson had also consumed wine because specifically the high priest was to drink only strong liquor. So let's continue now. And when a high priest becomes defiled, he has to wait for a certain number of days to go through cleansing. The certain number of days, depending on what he was defiled with, was eight days. But in Samson's case, your hair does not grow fully back so that the partial part fills up with this other side of the partial beard uh, or the rounding of the beard does not grow in eight days. So it took longer. Does that make sense? Samson did not keep long hair. As you're shown in scriptures and played all through the movies, that the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair creates. Let's continue now. We're reading now from Leviticus chapter number 19 to show you what we just explained in scripture. It says here in verse 27, you shall not make a round cutting of the hair of your head, nor disfigure your beard. So round cutting there insinuates cutting the hair in any way that is similar to what Hindus practice today in shaving their hair. For example, you see monks round the middle of their hair and then the corners, they leave it. Let's show you a picture before we continue. So here's one picture of a Buddhist monk. You can see right here that the hair is being shaved and then just one small stop is left. That's what the creator said. You shall not round the corners of your head and leave this kind of stop. Now there's another way that because there's different ways that this hair shaving is done in the worship of Satan okay which is the religions of hinduism of which christianity is a part of let's show you another picture now so here is a picture of a roman catholic monk as you can see this monk is wearing white and the hair is shaved just that only the middle portion is bowed so all this hair shaving of any different form partially so you have to understand this the shaving partially or completely was done in the worship of Satan, known as India. But that name India was changed to Kemosh by the Moabites, 
by the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair whose origin is from Sodom and Gomorrah and later named their country after Satan in the name India. So, but now that you understand that the tradition of hair shaving was done in the worship of Satan, known as Kemosh by the Moabites, who are the albinos, anybody with straight hair, whose origin is from Sodom and Gomorrah, and then later named their country after Satan, because they are the only people in the world who worship Satan and name their country after Satan. No other nation in the world, black nation, has ever done this. Except the scum of the earth albinos, anybody with straight hair whose origin is from Sodom and Gomorrah and later named their country after Satan, whose name they knew as India in their language, have done this. So can you see how there were two nations only in the earth? Because the remnant is the only country in the world today who named their country after the creator only country in the world who do that let's continue now so since you now understand that the concept of hair shaving which you see every day because all the hair that people use today that's human hair is gotten from India in India temples because those India temples shave off the hair as it was their custom from the days of Sodom and Gomorrah shaved onto Satan, whose name is India, but was changed as Kemosh in the Bible. But the tradition of hair shaving makes you understand that the same people in Scripture who changed their names and now call themselves to be every other name under the sun, other than their true origin, which comes from Sodom and Gomorrah, and via India are the albinos, Anybody with straight hair, scum of the earth, the dirtiest, stinkiest, smelliest people in the world. Now, continuing on now, we're reading from Second Samuel chapter number 10. So, if you're in the Greek Septuagint, it's going to be Second Kings chapter number 10, all right? And we want to show you how the Moabites, the scum of the earth, albinos, anybody with straight hair, shaved off the hair of the remnant partially, rounded their beards, tore their clothes in half as is done in Hindu religions, just to make sure that they defiled the remnant because they knew their customs. They were not to engage in any practice that was in the worship of Satan, just to find a way to make the creator angry because you have to understand this every time the remnant broke their commandment the creator was angry with them and would seek to destroy them so for example when delilah took samson and shaved off his hair partially and gave him wine to drink as a high priest what happened the creator left samson because samson now had become defiled and that's how samson was caught by the Philistines and his eyes plucked out. So every time the Moabites, the scum of the earth, albinos, anybody with straight hair, wanted to get anything done against the remnants, black people which they hated, they will always seek a way for you to defile yourself because they themselves do not have strength as of their own to destroy the remnant or black people. So the only way that they can destroy you is by making you do what? To break the commandments. So as long as you do not know the commandments and you break them, what happens? The creator becomes angry with the remnant and attacks you. So let's read now to show you that the Moabites, the scum of the earth, albinos, anybody with straight hair knew of the commandments. And the only way that they could make the remnants to get destroyed was to make them to break their commandments by defiling them. And once they got defiled, as they did in the matter of Balaam and Balak, which sent albino women, anybody with straight hair women, the scum of the earth, dirtiest, stinkiest, smelliest women, to go and inbreed with the remnants so that the creator would get angry and destroy them. 
is the same practice they carried on till this day. Acting their genetics. By teaching you not to know the commandments. By teaching you every sort of abomination through media and hip-hop culture. So that black people who were created in what? The image of the creator would deny the commandments and not know it. And practice evil and abominations. Such that they have all become corrupted now. With tattoos, with piercings, with every abomination that the creator told them not to do. They grow long hair, wear every form of body piercing so that they can go to the lake of fire. And wicked black people have done so. And altogether have become corrupted. Because this is the only way Satan can destroy the creation of the creator by making them to do abominations and deny their humanity, which is blackness. So we're reading now from Second Samuel. If you are in the Geneva Bible or the King James Bible, but if you're in the Greek Septuagint, it is Second Kings. And we're reading from chapter 10. And it says, And it came to pass after this that the king of the children of Ammon died. And Anon his son reigned in his stead. Who are the Ammonites? They are the scum of the earth, albinos, anybody with straight hair. Children of the daughters of Lot from Sodom and Gomorrah who named their country India. They are all together one and the same people. Moab and Ammon. All right, let's continue reading because that's why we laid all this foundation for you to get the history. Continue reading now, it says, And David said, I will show mercy to Anon the son of Naz, as his father dealt mercifully with me. And David sent to comfort him concerning his father by the hand of his servants. And the servants of David came into the land of the children of Ammon. Now, that history right there is false. David did not say that for the purposes of reading Let's just continue reading. Because remember, what was the commandment of the creator to the remnant? He said, you shall not do what? You shall not seek their peace and you shall not speak profitably unto them. So if David was a man who followed after the creator, he would never be friends with the Moabites, the scum of the earth, Ammonites, because it was a law. Let's read that portion again before we continue because we always want to show you how the scriptures has truth. And when these people imputed and changed things, the very commandment is there to show them that they changed it. So we're reading again to show you that that portion in which they said that David said that the Ammonite dealt good with him and peaceably unto him could not have happened. He could never have been friends. With the scum of the earth, albinos, anybody with straight hair. Because why? David followed the commandments of the creator. He's the only king of the remnant amongst all the kings of the remnant who followed the creator. Did you know that? That's why when you read the story of the kings of Israel, they always seemed, no matter what they did and how righteous they did, they all died. Why? Because they were wicked and did not do what the high priest told them. They taught to themselves to be priests also. So you hear such a word as priest king. So this is what the Sadducees and Pharisees who lead the remnants today have become. Priest kings. The learned elders of Zion. So reading here, we want to show you that David could never have been friends with the Ammonites or Moabites who are the scum of the earth albinos. Anybody with straight hair today as we're going to show you with proof as we have already laid the foundation for you to understand that hair shaving was a part of what? The Ammonite or Moabite traditions, which is the same as the Hindu religions today, which are all engaged in hair shaving to Satan. So reading here in Deuteronomy chapter number 23 from verse 3, it says, The Ammonite and Moabite shall not enter into the assembly of the Lord, even until the tenth generation. He shall not enter into the assembly of the Lord even forever. Because they met you not with food and water by the way when you went out of Egypt, and because they hired against thee Balaam, the son of Beor of Mesopotamia, to curse you. But the Lord thy God will not hearken to Balaam, and the Lord thy God changed the curses into blessings, because the Lord thy God loved thee. You shall not speak peaceably, 
or profitably to them all the days forever. Did you see that? So David, who followed after the commandments of the Creator and failed at one time because he was bewitched, which we're going to share later on the shape of a world if we get to that point, all right? Just like Lot's daughters bewitched him to inbreed with them, that was the only time that David failed and maybe one or two more times when Satan got into his mind through something else, all right? David could never, ever have been friendly with the Ammonite or Moabite as we read earlier. Let's go back now and continue reading because we wanted you to get that part. So let's continue reading now so you can see that in context that the people that David sent into the land of Moab, he did not send them, all right, to do anything but to act as spies, all right? That is what the whole concept here is because the Moabites at this point in time when the remnants came into the Middle East were a problem. And so David as a king had to take care of them finally. And when he did, the remnant and the Orientals caged the Moabites into India until they came out in the Ottoman Empire. So this is what you have to understand happened. They caged them in India until the remnant were removed out from the Middle East by the Romans and the Moabites now started coming into the land and then the Oriental could not sustain and therefore they came out eventually when Africans went in and taught them and brought civilization to them in exchange for the wicked knowledge of Satan. And that is how the scum of the earth, albinos, anybody with straight hair, whose origin is from Sodom and Gomorrah, who now named their country India and were shackled in India for as long as the remnants was in the Middle East, now came out in the Ottoman Empire and lied to the whole world that they are of any ethnicity besides the fact that they all come from India, which is the name of Satan, which was changed to Kemosh. So now as we're reading, let's continue. We are reading still from 2 Samuel chapter number 10 in any Bible that's not the Greek Septuagint, but in the Greek Septuagint, it is 2 Kings chapter number 10. And we continue reading from verse number 3. And it says, And the princes of the children of Ammon, referring to the Moabites, the scum of the earth, albinos, anybody with straight hair today, said to Anon their Lord, to honor thy father before thee that David has sent comforters to thee? Has not David rather sent his servants to thee that they should search the city and spy it out and examine it? Because that is exactly what David did. He sent his servants to go under guise that they are bringing gifts to the scum of the earth, albinos, anybody with straight hair who were troubling them to spy out their land and see what they got, have some intel before he went to war. Does that make sense? So continue reading, it says here, And Anon took the servants of David. Pay attention, because this is where everything now starts making sense. All right? And Anon, who was from what? Ammon. And Ammon is what? Ammon and Moab are who? The children of Lot's daughters, in which Lot's daughters inbred with their father to continue the lineage of Sodom and Gomorrah. And they are all together collectively known as what? Moab. And Moab is collectively known as what? India. And what is India? India is the name of Satan. But in the Bible, it was changed to Kemosh by the Indians. The scum of the earth, albinos, anybody with straight hair that we see today. So continue reading. Pay attention now. It says, And Anon took the servants of David and shaved their beards. What did he do? Let's pull up a picture again. So this is the picture to show you what Amnon did. He shaved the beards of David's servants, the remnants partially. Why did he do that? Because he knows if he shaved their beards because there was a commandment 
and they knew the commandments that the remnants were not to shave their beards partially as it is done in the Hindu religions or shave their hair or anywhere in the worship of Satan. And that if he did that, the creator would now be angry at David, angry at the remnants and would seek to destroy them because this is what the Moabites all seek to do. The scum of the earth, albinos, anybody with straight hair. They seek that you should not do the commandments. That is why they have preached every form of immorality to you. That is why in the albino, anybody with straight hair community, they have the highest number of everything homosexuals, bestiality, they have the highest number of dogs, they have the highest number of transgenders, they have the highest number of every abomination under the sun. Let's continue reading now. So reading on, it says, And Anon took the servants of David and shaved their beards and cut off their garments in the midst as far as their haunches and sent them away. You see that in Hindu religions, they cut their garments and exposed part of their body. They had look haphazard. It's all in the worship of Satan. And they brought David word concerning the men. And he sent to meet for them. For the men were greatly dishonored. They could not come back into the city. They were defiled. And the king, talking about David, said, Remain in Jericho till your beards have grown and you shall return. And the children of Ammon talking about the Moabites, collectively known as India, the scum of the earth, albinos, anybody with straight hair today, which we are going to show you how they changed the name Chemosh, which identifies them to Moab. But by their traditions and cultures right here, it shows you who they are. He says, And the children of Ammon saw that the people of David were ashamed, and the children of Ammon sent and hired the Syrians of Bethram and the Syrians of Suba and Rob, 20,000 footmen and the king of Amalek with a thousand men and Istop with 12,000 men to do what? To go and what? Kill the remnant. They hired. Isn't that what albinos anybody with Australia do today? They hire certain black people who support them through white supremacy as all the black leaders and celebrities and pay few of them to push an agenda of what? Destroying the commandments and making black people to love doing evil so that the creator will destroy them. And all black people have gone astray to doing that. They are now carrying tattoos. It's very rare before you find a black person now without a tattoo or body piercing. They are carrying long hair in the males, wearing jewelry, right? engaged in all manner of abomination, swinging lifestyle, married to an albino, anybody with straight hair scum of the earth, which King Solomon did and sent him to hell and the lake of fire, which you will see. All right, let's continue now showing you how Chemosh, which you will find in scripture, which talks about Satan, has been changed to the name of India. But the traditions and culture of hair shaving shows you that this is the same people because the people of Satan are albinos, anybody with straight hair, whose traditions and culture of hair shaving is the tradition and culture of worshiping Satan. Let's pull up a book now. We did not write this book. We are not going to give you the name of the book. But when you get to shape of our world, we may provide that information there for you. So you go and read it yourself. So you will know the truth. And let's continue with Legends of Roll Call. So before we show you that the name of Satan, which is India, was changed in scripture by the scum of the earth or by knows anybody with straight hair who are his children when they came into world power in the Ottoman Empire we want to read to you a portion of a very unique detail that happens to be part of the worship of Satan which is spirit cooking so if you read in the book of Numbers after we already explained this before but we are going through this all over again after 
the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair try to destroy the remnant by making them as they always do to everybody else to have a disregard for the commandments of the Creator so that the Creator himself would destroy them, which was the counsel of Balaam to Balak, which was the counsel of Balaam to Balak. What you will find there is that in the book of Numbers, it says that the remnant were eating sacrifices made to what idols? But the word idols there means Satan, and Satan's name is India changed in the Bible to Chemosh. So all these attributes makes you to be able to identify who the children of Satan is no matter what they have changed in scripture because all these attributes is still what is being practiced in India in what is called Hinduism in which Buddhism is a part of that religion. So let's read that portion of scripture first before we come back and read this portion to you for you to understand what temple sacrifices means because it's practiced very much still today in Hinduism. Is this same temple sacrifices of cooking food dedicated to Satan and selling it to the people that is done in Christianity in what is called the Passover or what is called communion or what is called the Lord's Supper which you guys have read about a lot and you hear about in scripture but these things never happened these were all written in as part of the New Testament so let's go read numbers right now chapter 25 and then we come back and continue reading this for you to understand the meaning of temple sacrifices because it's food cooked to Satan specially and then sold or given to the worshippers of Satan to eat So we read again from Numbers chapter 25 and we're reading from the Greek Septuagint but it's going to be the same thing in any other Bible and we're reading from verse number one and it says and the remnants sojourned in Satin and the people profaned itself by going or whoring after the daughters of Moab that means they started committing inbreeding with the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair female whose origins are from Sodom and Gomorrah whose great grandparents were busy committing terrible abomination by sleeping with Satan and after that when Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed they came out of Sodom and Gomorrah through the daughters of Lot who devised a concoction a demonic concoction to make their father to have an erection without his mind not knowing what he was doing to have an erection have sex and ejaculation inside the vaginas so that they could continue the lineage of Satan that he would not die as the creator destroyed them in Sodom and Gomorrah and after that they changed and named their country which they lived in as India which is the name of Satan which they knew in their language and later on when they rewrote scriptures and removed all the names of the Gentile nations and removed the names of everybody and changed scripture they now changed the word India to Chemosh and hid it in the Bible but they are not able to hide it successfully because their traditions and culture in the Hindu religion which is satanic religion in the shaving of hair and cooking of food onto Satan which they eat is still in here identifying them for who they are and these are the women that the remnant committed inbreeding with because in the ancient practice of the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair the dirtiest filthiest people in the whole world which have deceived the world today to believe that they are anything but the children of Satan when a man took a wife, he would make the wife sleep with him and sleep with his siblings, brothers, and sleep with his community such that one woman would be married to how many husbands? More than one husband. And this is what you find in the story of the Samaritan with the fabricated Jesus who said, you do not have just one husband. You have had many. For that story never ever existed. And the Creator spoke to no Samaritan. This is the same women that black males look and cherish over black women because black people love Satan. Because black people seek the success of this world. 
they despise the commandments and don't even know it. And for as long as we have tried to make them to come to the truth, they have refused it. And now the ends of the world have been brought upon us because of the love for albinism, the love for satanism. So this is what the remnants, this is what this albinos, anybody with straight hair, females who on the advice of Balaam to Balak said, do this since we cannot curse them and since we cannot destroy them. When they submit themselves to breaking commandments and practicing inbreeding, which is the first commandment which the creator said, I am your creator, you shall not inbreed. The creator shall be angry and shall destroy them for you so that you do not need to do any work because you as a weak albino anybody with straight hair cannot defeat blackness and that is what happened but what we want to show you right here is that they call the remnant to the sacrifices of satan and the remnant ate for some of them ate of those sacrifices cooked food spirit filled cooked food that's what they call it spirit cooking which is practiced in all the hindu religions in india till today in which food is cooked and served and is practiced in christianity on sundays in which food is served to bring people in to believe in the fakeness of christianity which is satan's religion and this is what you're reading here. And we read again in Numbers chapter number 25, verse 2. And they called them to the sacrifices of Satan. And the people ate of their sacrifices and worshipped Satan. Now let's go back now and read that story before we continue to show you that Kemosh in the Bible is the same name as India, but it was only changed. So we are not going to leave any link, but you can do your own searches on the internet. And uh, these pictures of Hindu temples, temples dedicated to Satan, made by the people of Sodom and Gomorrah in albinos, anybody with straight hair who are identified as Moab or Moab and Ammon in the Bible, which they removed the original names they said that we would not know that it was them. And it says here, temple food in Tamil Nadu, unique dishes that are delicious and what? Divine. So whenever you hear that word divine, what does that mean? Divine has to do with Satan. So every time someone says, I am divine, what does it mean? It's talking about Satan. Divinity has got nothing to do with the creator. The creator is not divine. Divine day means deity, and every deity means that it was created. So this is what we are trying to make people understand because they have been so much fed with what they call witch language that they do not know how to use words to describe what they are saying anymore. They only have to use witch language. Your vocabulary has to change, otherwise the spell of Satan is going to be on your mind. You have to speak your own words. We say this all the time. Whatever the popular culture and media uses as words, shy away from using them. Construct your own words and use it accurately and somebody will still understand what you're saying. Do not say gay. Gay used to mean happy. They changed it. The word is homosexual or, or sodomite. Do you get that? Now, let's read further into this article now. Reading this article, it says the best time to visit some of Tamil Nadu's legendary temples that have stood the test of time is at daybreak. I still remember my last visit to the Menakashi Temple, the pride of Madurai with its imposing Goparans, temple towers, that included a fascinating walk trail around the temple. Soon after the trek around the temple, I checked into one of the temple's prasadam, prasad in Hindi stalls that serve seven varieties of prasadam every day. The temple's kitchen makes delicious Puliyod Harai, Muruku, Shaklis, Ladus, and Putu once a week. Divine food, that means Satan's food. That's a fitting description for some of the delicacies that are prepared with love and devotion in many of Tamil Nadu's ancient and modern temples. Food that is always offered to what? The presiding deity. So remember, as we have shown you right now, and which we're going to make you understand fully on the shape of a world, the worship of the Trinity 
happened and started after the flood. And we'll get into that part on the shape of the world. And the Trinity is father, mother, and son. It's not the Holy Spirit. One of the aspects of this Trinity which you see is the worship of the vagina of a divine goddess, which is seen in all of the buildings, all of the so-called administrative buildings in the world and in the United States where you see a dome. That dome is showing you that that is the vagina of that goddess called the mother in a tri-worship of Satan, which you guys will not understand until we say it and we will explain on the shape of our world. Okay? So, every time you see food being cooked, it was cooked for the Trinity. Anybody who worshipped the Trinity worshipped Satan. Okay? So, the Trinity was a proxy to worshipping Satan. Because why? It was a mystery that the true form and nature of Satan should not be known to the world. But rather that aspects of him in humanity through this trinity can be used to worship him. If you go into any African spirituality or voodoo or juju, you will always notice that they cook food and live at certain places that they think that that is where the so-called altar of a god or goddess is. Because all this was in the worship of Satan. Why did people have to cook food and leave? Because when Satan was in this world physically rocking around and people saw him after the flood, they would cook food and leave for Satan to come and eat. And if it so happened that you were at that point in time, that the food that you had cooked for Satan and Satan was there, you would eat with Satan and you would get a blessing. So that is the idea from where it was developed to be cooking food in symbology in the worship of Satan and eating it for a blessing. That is why the communion service says what? The communion service that you do in Christian churches is for what? It is for a blessing. If you eat of this food, what happens? If you drink of this blood, what happens? You have what? Eternal life, which is all in the worship of Satan. The blessing of Satan. So reading on here it says, that's a fitting description for some of the delicacies that are prepared with love and devotion in many of Tamil Nadu's ancient and modern temples. Food that is always offered to the presiding deity, meaning any of the trinity proxies of Satan before being made available to lesser mortals. You see that now? because Satan would eat the food and others would eat with him and get a blessing. This was ancient practice after the flood at the time of the Tower of Babel. So continue reading, it says, before being made available to lesser mortals in most cases through the temple canteens or souvenir shops. And this is the scum of the earth, albinos, anybody with straight hair, eating food made to Satan. And this is what black males have been cohabiting with. The dirtiest, stinkiest, smelliest people from Sodom and Gomorrah who decided to call their nation after Satan who bore them in the word India and now changed the word to Kemosh in the Bible and changed their names of India because the only place you're going to find India right now if you read the scripture, is in the book of Esther. They changed the name. But they kept references and wrote it in such a way that you would not know who is who. But their traditions and cultures in the shaving of hair, which is practiced by Hinduism, which you see in scripture, and the eating of food cooked and reserved for Satan, and inbreeding, because every albino that you see right here, everyone in India, is now from inbreeding. This attribute shows you who they are. And this is what black males have been procreating with the dirtiest, stinkiest people, especially the women. 
from Sodom and Gomorrah, which the Creator cursed and said that everyone should stay clear of them, for they shall bring nothing but doom. And it's for this very fact that the Creator destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah with the fire. And is going to destroy this same world again with the fire because all have gone corrupt in the ways of Satan, in the worship of albinos. Anybody with straight hair, the scum of the earth, and hate their blackness. And now, let's scroll forward and show you that Kemosh is the same as India. And they changed it. But the Creator has met them to keep some of this information beyond what anybody else can see except a high priest tells you because only a high priest can tell you the truth and i am not a high priest i have to keep repeating this i am just delivering information because some people still wonder how do we get the information we get them from high priests who were the only ones the high priests of the remnant who reserved real history so that Satan would not wipe away the history of the Creator, which they have done. They have wiped away his name and made his people not to even know that that is the name of the Creator, even though they know him by name in their local dialect of the remnant. So since you have now understood that the name Kemosh is the same name as India, all right? We want to present to you a book. We won't tell you the name of the book. We may tell you in the shape of a world what the name of the book is. And um, we will leave all the information about the book in our Bible for those who will get it. And like we said, for you to get the Bible, you have to have the book, you have to have the DVDs, you have to have the shape of a world before you can get to the Bible. And that is the only way you're going to get it. But for now, let's read. Because we've made you to understand that Kemosh is the name of Satan in scripture. Worshipped by the scum of the earth, albinos, anybody with straight hair. Whose origin is from Sodom and Gomorrah. Who later called their country India, which is the name of Satan. All right, In the ancient language of Hinduism or India or the people of Satan who have gone around the world making the world believe that their origins are anywhere but from India and today claim to be the originators of humanity as Satan has always tried to steal the identity of black people which he started in the book of Genesis and has not succeeded up till now so reading from this particular book that you see on the screen which we circle around it says a brouhaha or means trouble erupted in 2004 concerning the halakhic permissibility of using hair from indian temples did you see that because the shaving of hair is only done in where indian temples it is from where you get all the wigs that black women wear and have been lied to that their hair does not grow and because they do not want to know how to make black hair grow which has nothing to do with your genetics every black woman can grow her hair longer than any albino anybody with straight hair in this world why because albino hair has no strength if you hold an albino with the hair you pull out so much of the hair at once but when you hold a black person by the hair the hair refuses to pull so black hair grows longer and we have all this information in our book but you people refuse to get it because you people think we are just repeating the same things we say on our YouTube videos there is absolutely no information whatsoever that's gonna help anybody in any of our YouTube videos this is the honest truth but we cannot tell everybody the truth because not everybody deserves the truth there is no need for you to tell a wicked person the truth what is he gonna do for him he does not like truth so why would we cast our diamonds and pearls among swine for people who have no need of it they think they know everything why would we do that 
and in the second place the creator never said we should do that it is not a commandment that you have to share the truth with anybody the only commandment says you shall not do wickedness as long as we're not responsible for your ignorance and the plight that you find yourself in we owe you nothing so reading here continuing says a bruja erupted in 2004 concerning the halakhic permissibility of using hair from indian temples in shaitels yiddish for weeks who speaks yiddish did you see that who in the world speaks the language that is called yiddish today is it not the so-called fake jews in israel which this particular statement is revealing that they are from india do you see that now all right continuing it says commonly worn by who married jewish women to cover their natural hair it's telling you straight up Let's continue reading. One point of the controversy centered on whether the ritual haircuts at those temples, which temple is it referring to? Indian temples are comparable to the ritual haircuts of the Kemosh cult. Did you see the word Kemosh there now? That Indian temple haircuts are the same rituals as the Kemosh hair cult that you find in scripture because they are one and the same and this particular article is written in which language so people do not see but they they give you the evidence that the shaving of hair in indian temples is the same shaving of hair that you have in the word kemosh which is the name of satan which was changed from india to kemosh in the scriptures by the scum of the earth albinos anybody with straight hair whose origin is from sodom and gomorrah the very children of satan the only people in the world who named their country after satan in everything from Hindu, Hindus Valley, Indra to India, both the names of Satan. But that name India is shortened from the full name of Satan, which they called, which we will reveal in the shape of the world. But you have heard the name before, but you never know that it is the name. Because as we have said, until you hear the truth from a high priest, all your understanding is null and void because only the high priest was meant to read to you the words of the creator once a year at the temple in jerusalem at the remnant this is the truth and i am not a high priest i still have to repeat that over and over again i am not a high priest i am just delivering information as it's given to me to give to you by the writings of the high priest and now that you know the truth that Kemosh is the same as India because you can see right here that this whole reading makes you understand that and it also makes you understand that who speaks Yiddish Indians who have now made the world to believe that they are the remnant the people of scripture by assigning the word jewish to them and let's continue now with shape of a world for you to see that the remnants were not supposed to attach themselves to any albino women and how it was such a sacrilege to do so and then we continue to show you what is going to be happening because the recipe has already been set.